and um, one other question that i personally also have and i guess the people watching this video might also have is uh, if 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 i if i pick any domain of ai be it nlp reinforcement mm-hmm. learning uh, computer vision it changes every damn day like if yeah. if i open twitter there is some scientist p- publishing some work and it's yeah. making a great impact and uh, so how do you personally like okay if you are working at um, nvidia uh, nvidia ai is maybe computer vision might be a really crucial aspect of your mm-hmm. life and your uh, implementations how do you or over the time at your grad study at cmu how did you yourself personally had the habits of keeping yeah. uh, yourself updated to the latest developments was it uh, twitter was it google scholar was it uh, something else what what was your uh, habit and to do uh, lists for that so in grad school i started joining a lot of reading groups and a reading group is basically either you have one paper and you present it or everybody reads the same paper and we talk about it so either way you either get different viewpoints on the same paper or you you read one paper but you ultimately get an understanding of 10 papers because everybody's presenting some paper but at the end of the day reading groups is a really good way to sort of collaborate and understand what's really going out um in the research field and so now um i look at for example twiml ai has a lot of reading groups they talk a lot about publications that come out and similar to twiml ai and twiml ai is this week in machine learning and ai it's a popular podcast then there are similar newsletters which comes out for example oreilly has a newsletter that talks about some recent publications then the batch is one it's by deep learning.ai um and then there are so many public like so many newsletters which come out every now and then and then there's also something called uh, it's a website called shot science where people actually put out snippets of papers and when you're doing research and you you want to go into breadth of all the papers that are available out there short science is a really good way because it you know people have put out like small paragraphs describing each paper so in the time in the 5 hours that i can spend reading one paper i can actually spend reading 500 papers so it's a really good way of sort of collaborating and aggregating all the knowledge that's out there